Right now, this effect works perfectly because it's applied to a shape layer. But let me show something important in After Effects, which you should know about. I'll drag a simple icon from my project files. I'll drag it into the composition, make it visible here. And now I would like to show you a super useful After Effects hint. If you have some logo files or some illustrator files and you would take them straight inside the composition, as I double click on it, you see the layer itself is very small. So if you would drag this effect, the CC Radial Fast Blur on this layer and raise the amount, it would not go over the bounds of the actual layer. I said this hint will be awesome, so there are a couple of ways how you can fix that. The first one is pre-composing by hitting Ctrl or Command Shift C, pre-composing it, and now we have a composition. The composition can be easily resized by hitting Ctrl or Command K and making it simply bigger. This isn't the perfect solution, but it could get the job done if you would have the composition big enough. A much, much, much better solution, especially if you have vector icons, is right-clicking on it and going to Create Shapes from Vector Layer. You can also go to Layer and hit Create Shapes from Vector Layer. As you see, a shape layer has appeared and a shape layer has no bounds because it's a vector icon and if you drag the effect onto such a layer, it has no bounds and it can be scaled infinitely. Another little solution is to use the Grow Bounds effect. I found out that this effect doesn't work on all layers, but you can always try, I believe this time it isn't working properly, but there are some objects which Grow Bounds helps. If you perhaps use the Trap Code suit and have the Red Giant software installed, it comes with RGS Grow Bounds. This is a much better plugin than the actual native After Effects plugin and if you have this plugin it will be no problem because this Grow Bounds really works. Alright, thank you for tuning in. For now that's it. I hope you will remember about that and always try to use vector icons for your compositions because they are easier to use. You only right click and create shapes from vector layer and you have no problem working inside of After Effects and if you lose your project files, for example you delete this icon on your hard drive, you still have this shape layer which is built in in the saved After Effects file so there would be no problem working with it. Thank you and let's work on the next flat shadow technique, richer by the knowledge we have until now.